All right, so we're gonna do two things here. We're gonna test out the A to Z, new A to Z adapter. And I'm also, I'm not gonna plug in charge on the Tesla supercharger. I'm gonna use my Tesla supercharger membership. So we're gonna show you how you do that and get the membership pricing on the Rivian. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is activate it through the Tesla app. And I just go into my Tesla app and I'm gonna select charge your other EV. And it says there's no chargers within range. Why does it say that? There we go, Halifax, North Carolina. We're gonna select that. We're gonna say charge here. And it's gonna ask us to select the, the post number. You can see here we're on 3D. So we're gonna scroll over until we see 3D. I'm gonna select that one and I'm gonna say start charging. And it's gonna tell me to attach the adapter and plug in. Open the charge port. We're going to plug in the adapter. And then we actually have to put this in the locking position. Otherwise it will not charge the vehicle. And the app back out. And we can see that it's initializing the charging session. Take a few minutes here. And I see we have a green light and it's starting to charge. Now let's just see real quick how fast of a charging rate we get. You can see we're at 13% state of charge and it's ramping up 88 kilowatt. There we go. I hear it kicking on 147 kilowatt. Now I've seen up to 215 on these superchargers, but it looks like, okay, we're getting a little bit more 154. So even 154 is a good speed. We may go up higher than that. But you can see the charging cost here. So we are getting the membership pricing. And that's how we know because we can actually see it in the Tesla app. And that's it. As always, folks, remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified anytime we add new content. Thank you guys so much for watching.